Yes, Rasta, I tell you, so clever here and I represent for DJ Kemar the finest, you know. And we are here to interview one of Senton most popular artists. Main popular artists. We can't say most. Main popular artists. Grandpa entertain. Welcome. Yes, my brother. Sorry. Yes, man. Yes, yes. You know, so we are we here to ask you some questions, Gramps. And um reason by the name and why you choose that name and what people expect. To see when they, when they hear that name. Well, you know, I was given the name Entertain. You see me? Mm -hmm. I was using the name Entertain. And a couple years after, I, I decided to do the grandpa thing. You see me? So I decided to put the grandpa and, and to the name. So grandpa Entertain. You see? So what people expect? What people expect when they hear the name? You know, once you hear grandpa, you know, say something funny, dramatic. You know? Hold on. Take back the funny part. Hilarious. Yeah. Quite so. Mm -hmm. So once you hear grandpa, a pure drama. Niceness. Fun. That good. So grandpa entertain. History and music. You know you go way back though. Yeah man, way back from about in about 2013 them time. They used to put up some little um in phone videos remember me have one we say give me the ugly girl please shot one tall ones like coconut trees give me the ugly girl please shot one tall ones like coconut trees if a zombie me we take them with these me the one a pretty girl mm -mm. them two has we please give me the ugly girl please shot one tall ones like coconut trees if a zombie me we take them with these me the one a pretty girl them two has we please give me the black ugly ones and the bleachers so no the zombie them just no tally creatures so no black cherry black cherry just like me blackberry send them come me we check out them features girl with broad mouth them me like half me love girl with them ears look bite up girl we serious some puggy girl we like laugh send the girl we look like the whole body right up you see me send me the ugly girl please shot one tall was like coconut trees if a zombie me we take them with these me that one a pretty girl them too happy please you see me yeah I remember that one because that was one of my first and favorite um songs them so um what inspired for what, what inspired you to the music you know i was inspired by other artists you know mainly professor notes you know, me always want to be like that man, you know, so I was inspired by him. So when, what, when and uh, where was a big, your first big performance? Okay, my first biggest performance was in Kachinal in Montego Bay, 2014, Montego Bay Jerkfest. And you think that you did a wonderful job? More than wonderful, you haven't you know, had a word where you can describe it? Because, yeah, guess what now? You see, in the morning when we wake up, somebody carry the paper to me and say, watch it, you're in the paper. You know, top performer. Yeah, that means you make an impact then, man. You made an impact. More than impact. Let's get it. <laughs> Um, idol in the industry. As you, but you mentioned um, Professor Nuts. Any other idol? Yes, you have general degree, Papa Sans Tichi. No, you have um, Agent Sasko and Real Bass. Real Bass. Um, any um any any, any artist out there you would look you're looking forward to work with? Spice. Lad God. Old oh boy, you think you can manage spice. You feel like say boy, spice give the work, you could have managed. Well you know if me get the work from spice and I'll lift me or lift her up and you say. Quite so. So you ask me about manage. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. <laughs> So um grandpa and explain to me um what can tell me some of the fights them or your face some of the struggles you face in the industry. Well you know me face a lot of struggle, you know. I, I matter of fact remember when somebody tell me to brace for it. You know, so me did brace for it, but me face a lot of struggle. For instance, um couple of years back, 
prepare me to buy me gas and drive go all the way at jerk face in, in um, St. Elizabeth. And when we finish the show, I don't get a red cent. That a struggle to me. Yeah, you don't get that dollar? Not even a dollar. You get the exposure. Sometimes you have to use it, but that kind of unfair still. But I understand still. But it kind of unfair. Any other struggle? Yeah, I feel so well, Pastor. You know, more while, I mean, the panel stage more while, you know, and people are giving me the time out and them things. You know, they are struggling. Yes, man. But well, if you understand, still, you know, struggle makes you stronger, you know. Because if you don't get fight, you can't prove, say, all right, I'm stronger than that. You know? If I hear the same, you say, you, you don't know how strong you is, so till you your strength you alone, you have to depend upon. If I hear what that, you hear that saying, that? Yes, man. I know this struggle, build you. You know, you, 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 you get, you, you build yourself when it, when it, when it, them, them throw them thing they pay yourself. You know, them, them, them thing they're natural. Yeah, it's like a cat. If a cat back in the car now, now if I and some dog rush him, you know, and a cat back in the car now, and can, and there's one way he can get out and actually the dog. Him. What do you think of him? He might go back some of them the dog. There. So that's all the things. But fight, everybody face fight. Don't think the man who walk up on the road, somebody are bad at him. So everybody face fight, man. But, the man have to just stay strong in the industry and if you want good, you can hear your nose up run, no? Definitely. Yes, man. I mean, if you tell you, if you want good, you know what I'm saying. Because you're a grandpa. <laughs> um, tell me something, what, what are your best part? What, what, what's one of the best parts of your mu- the music journey? All right. The best part of my music journey is um, to see people come into grandpa and say, Grandpa, can you take a picture with me? You know, when they see me in the street, them all greet me. Them, them treat me like Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah, because I even I was, I was watching TV once and um, not the TV, Facebook. People on Facebook and see some alcohol you dress up like you and uh, do the, 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 the thing. The, 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 do the performance like you and sing a song. So I guess I inspire a lot of people, man. What would you tell um, an upcoming artist who is, who is inspired by your music and want to do your genre of music? What would you tell them? First, stay focused and don't watch the whole of hype from the social media. Social media is good, but don't watch the, and follow the whole of hype from the social media. Just focus on you. If you want to do music like me, you do some comedic. You think about the fun part of the music. The jam a part of the music and just do it. Do something different. People catch on to something different. You understand? Yeah. Quite so. All right, all right. That's unfair. So, Grandpa, um, any upcoming projects besides? Cause I know that the Corona kind of slowed down a lot of um, um businesses, especially music in the entertainment industry, because um, there's no party keeping, so no shows. What? Any projects coming up? Any new music? Anything? Um, you know. Um, anything people can look out for? You know, Grandpa always have something new coming out. Up to yesterday, I do a, um, a new music. So, Grandpa always have new music coming out. So, the best thing to do is keep your eyes on the prize. So, Grandpa, um, um, how can your, your fans reach the, the, the ACs or the fans, you know? Well, as we say, and all of my social media handles, you know, you can find me on Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram, YouTube, and guess what? No? You can contact me on nebulousrecords at gmail.com. That is N E B I L U S at gmail.com. Okay. Oh, you spell the grandpa. Is it like grandpa or? No, you know me, not spell the grandpa correct. You know, me spell it incorrect, okay. so to speak. Oh, yes. Okay. It's G R A M P A E N T A T A I N. Okay. Grandpa Entertainer. So if they search just Grandpa, they can find the name or you have to put the entertainer on it? Well, you know, Grandpa Papilla, no, you know. Once you type in G R A M P A, Grandpa Entertainer pop up. Quite so. Most of you hear that. You hear that for yourself. As long as you type in Gramps, you, go, you, you, you know the strips. All right. Um, any big ups, anybody you want to. Um, Give a shout out to one, um, you know. Yes, man. Big up DJ Kemar, the finest. Mm-hmm. I may say big up Dr. Planks, aka grandson. I may say big up Clever Chris. Clever Chris, Clever Mix Record. 
I mean, I say big up Nebulous Records. Who may I big up again? Big up the whole Jamaica. Big up the whole world. Big up Sentan. Big up all of my fans, them. Okay. That's good. All right. So, Dr. Plank, the brother, what do you say? Dr. Plank, buy a couple of dragon. Come me full of style like that dragon. Whoa, you know, some of cat on DJ. Yo, you know, I know what I say. I just get me a white thing and yeah, me, me, me next grandson. You understand? Camille, Quite so. <laughs> Lad guy.